We are saying thanks, Kathy, as we're counting down to her final newscast right here on ABC 7, Chicago's home, of course. But Kathy's knowledge and love of our city makes it easy to forget that she was once from out of town. Kathy started her broadcast journalism journey in the Pacific Northwest just days out of college, landing a job at a TV station not too far from the Brock family farm. So I graduated from Washington State University at 2 o'clock on Saturday, and I started my first job 48 hours later at KEPR Television in Pasco, Washington. Kathy's young career was off and running. She was on the air at the station that she grew up watching, and she was on the move quickly just several months later, landing an anchor job in Boise, Idaho, and then her next stop, KUTV in Salt Lake City. Coming up, the story of a former Utah judge who relishes the name Redneck. And for six years in Salt Lake, she honed her skills, and that experience was pivotal as Kathy won national awards for her documentary on an aid project in West Africa. And this scarcity of food and water is heightened by a burgeoning population. That body of work resulting in a number of job offers, including Chicago. You may know by now, I'm heading for a new TV job in Chicago, and yeah, I'm excited. In 1990, Kathy joined me as co-anchor of ABC 7 News This Morning. He thought he was getting a promotion when in fact he actually got me, which was not what he thought was in the cards. Also in the cards was our cringe-worthy performance in this AM News promo. Have you seen this tape we got in this morning? This is the greatest story. But our morning show union only lasted three years because Kathy then moved up to the 6 p.m. show to co-anchor alongside the legendary Floyd Calber. Floyd Calber and Kathy Brock, together they've got it covered. That pairing, seen as a bold move, proved successful. Working with Floyd, I learned the importance of being a good partner. And then in 2003, she got the top spot at ABC7, joining the 10 p.m. show to co-anchor with Ron Majors. Her opportunity helping to make a path for others. She held it and said, listen, let me put my foot in the door, <laughs> okay? Let me, let me prop the door open, let me push the ceiling up, okay? So that people that are like me, meaning gender-wise, you know, women, other women, whether they look like me or not, have an opportunity to come here and have their voice heard. Alan, my Kathy and I were reunited on the 6 p.m. news back in 1998, and then bookending her ABC7 career, we were teamed up again in 2016, right here on ABC7 Eyewitness News at 10. Alan likes to say that the reason that we've gotten along so well all these years is because we only spend you know less than an hour a day together. <laughs> um, I like to think it's more than that. No, it's really that we spend less than an hour <laughs> of each day together. I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll have many more surprises for Kathy throughout the day tomorrow ahead of her final newscast. Don't miss it tomorrow night at 10. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.